Hey guys, I'm Josh Mason, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to get rid of your chronic bowel disorders. Hey guys, IBS, IBD, colitis, all of these labels that are basically saying you have inflammation in your gut. Okay, let's throw away all those labels. I don't even care. I don't even want to hear about any of them. To me, 90% of them are all the same. Of course, there are rare 10% cases that are very, very unique diseases and disorders, but for 90% or more of gut conditions and gut labels and diagnoses, it's the same root issues, okay? How do we get rid of these issues? I used to have debilitating irritable bowel syndrome. I never went to a doctor to, got, to get diagnosed with it because I knew in my heart of hearts that I was gonna get rid of it on my own and that I didn't even care what they had to say. So, uh, anyway. That's just my opinion, right? Um, that's how I am with the medical establishment, but you don't have to be that crass or cutthroat. But anyway, uh, so how do we get rid of IBS, IBD, all of these different bowel disorders, okay? I'm gonna give you a bunch of different suggestions here. Take whichever ones you resonate with. Shit, take them all. If you've been through enough garbage already and through all these years and enough doctors and enough medications and you're really trying to just get to the root of this issue, try all of these suggestions. They're very, very benign. What I mean by that is they can't hurt you. They're very, very well-tolerated supplements and foods and nourishing um, teas that I've never had anybody react poorly to, okay? So, one of the most important things, get yourself some slippery elm bark powder and start making daily teas with slippery elm bark powder. One heaping tablespoon with eight to 10 ounces of boiling water, add some cinnamon in there or some, and some dragon herb sweet fruit drops if you want to make it sweet. Stir that up and drink that at least once a day. It's a mucilaginous tea that's gonna help heal your mucous membrane and reduce inflammation, okay? Another thing you can do is to start taking things like butyric acid, okay? Glutamine is okay, but some people have very poor reactions to glutamine because excess glutamate could get into the brain and your body can't detox it, so perhaps skip that. Uh, butyric acid, aloe vera, okay? You can make a smoothie with all of these ingredients, not the slippery elm, with all of these ingredients I'm about to tell you, you can make a smoothie with. You can use purple cabbage juice as the base. You can use aloe vera, fresh aloe vera inner filet, inner filet. Butyric acid, okay, you can put the pills in it or the capsules in it. Um, you can use aloe fusion from Global Healing Center if you don't have fresh aloe vera nearby in a local farmer's market or at Whole Foods. Another thing you can do is throw in some co colostrum, okay, some collagen powder. You can throw in some uh, collagen, colostrum, butyric acid, aloe vera, um, you can throw in some coconut oil and what else do I put? Oh, liposomal colostrum, very, very powerful. Okay. So make a smoothie with all of those ingredients together. Okay. You can use dragon herb sweet fruit drops if you want to make it sweet and you don't want sugar. Another thing you can do to help heal your debilitating leaky gut, IBD, IBS is going on a lectin avoidance diet. Okay, I'm gonna post a link to a video called the lectin of why you should stop eating lectins that I made. I'll post it in one of these two corners at the end and you'll be able to see what lectins are and how you can reduce them and what you can take to bind to all of the plant lectins that, uh, that are currently floating around in your gut. So a lectin avoidance diet is things, avoiding things like nuts, seeds, beans, grains, nightshade vegetables, okay? This is going to be very different to what normal health advice has to offer. Normal health advice says quinoa is a superfood, right? But really, in my experience and my clients' experiences, it's very, very powerful to go 60 days minimum on a lectin avoidance diet to reset the immune system, to prevent all of the constant irritation and inflammation in the gut, okay? So we got the slippery elm, we got the the leaky gut smoothie with all those, you know, five, six, seven ingredients, lectin avoidance diet. And the fourth thing you can do is to start taking binders. 
at a minimum charcoal and clay activated coconut charcoal and bentonite clay take that every single morning to grab onto the toxicity that's floating around in your gut to help reduce inflammation okay so we want to reduce inflammation heal the mucous membrane and at the same time we also want to be flushing the system gently gently especially if you have ibs ibd you don't want to be doing intense things okay coffee enema might even be too intense a lot of things like saltwater flush might be too intense. So I like things like trifala, okay, trifala, trifala. It's an Ayurvedic co uh, com combination of three different fruits. I believe it's uh, uh, hirataki, shirataki, bibaki, uh, bibitaki. Yeah, I believe those are the three. Anyway, it's a very gentle herbal laxative. It doesn't take over our peristalsis and doesn't irritate the colon. Um, and then once you get better, you can start doing colonics. Anyway, all of that stuff, you can dive deeper on my YouTube channel for a bunch of those things, coffee enemas, colonics, etc., saltwater flushes. But uh, that's all I got for you right now. Check out that superfood, that gut healing smoothie recipe. I promise you it will help. I promise you. Give it a whirl and leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Peace. Summer in the hills, those hazy days I do remember. The whole world at our feet Watching seasons change Our roads were light